And now, eight on your side, special coverage, Cuba mourns Castro. What is the fate of Cuba's future? Even as Fidel Castro's ashes made their way through Havana today, many are wondering about what comes next for both Cuba and America. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson is the only Tampa Bay reporter in Cuba for this historic week. He has the latest from Havana. In Cuba tonight, there are many questions about what life will be like without Fidel Castro and what life will be like with Donald Trump. The departure of Fidel is a symbolic thing. It's, a, it's involved with the emotions of, of the Cuban people, and his absence will be felt in this process of changes. Harold Cardenas is a blogger who lives in Havana. Some of his writings have been critical of his own government, but he is supportive of Fidel Castro and his revolution. I think his work is half done. For me, all the issues that we don't have, like a better economy that we need, we need access to internet, we need, we need many, many things. Those are the things he couldn't achieve, and those are the things that my generation need to achieve. When I visited Cuba before with Congresswoman Kathy Castor, I saw people opening small private businesses, one woman with a business sewing children's clothes, people opening restaurants and renting out their homes for tourists. Some of these businesses are facing new restrictions as the government exerts control. There are restrictions that are very new, but I think that the change that Cuba will have uh, a property and, we have, and the, that the Cuban will have its own business is not going to change. For decades, Fidel Castro guided foreign policy here. Now people have told me they are more uncertain than ever before because of Donald Trump. We feel very uncertain about it. Uh, we're very worried about Trump. If you ask me, for me, Trump is like the big bully in the school that wants to abuse of the other children because he's bigger and because he wants to. Uh, we don't like bullies. Still, Cardenas and others are hopeful that the new relationships with the United States will continue. We want to be close to the United States. It's fair to be close. We have two million Cubans living there. So we, need, we want this normalization. A new relationship that Cardenas believes has opened up many opportunities for people in his country. In Havana, Cuba, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8. And Jeff will be reporting from Cuba again tomorrow on the death of Fidel Castro and the reaction to his passing.